storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust episode 12 of fossil hunters which this one might be the final episode anyways let's get in the game because there's so much to do and so little time to do so okay so we were that character last time and since this might be the end let's go back to this character here because as i keep saying green Anyways, uh, some good news about the little glitch we had at the end of last episode. What happened was, we completed the... Well, I shouldn't say at the end of the last episode, it was during the last episode. Um, during the last episode, we finally completed 
the collector requests. Okay, as you can even see at the bottom of the, or bottom of the page. Yeah, no collector requests. I uh, finally completed it, but no trophy. What the hey? Um, anyways, after recording uh, last episode, I went and worked on level 13. Yeah, level 13, the one I keep saying that oh, we're going to go back to, and I'm going to finally show that area that, you know, we couldn't see originally because it was too dark, blah, 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 blah. And anyways, after lighting that up, which is a good thing I did because it took about a half an hour, um, when I was all, like, done with everything, I basically, you know, from here, left the game, but of course, did it through doing the way how I normally do it, which is just going straight to the main menu, which takes us back to the title, sc title screen, and then I leave the game, okay? So basically, just how I like to end a lot of games, you know, especially a lot, a lot of them where we have to deal with auto-saving and yada yada, even though, you know, just simply closing the book, or op opening and closing the book will auto-save, but still, just certain games like this one, I always go back to the main menu. Anyways, anyways, to get to the point, when I went back to the main menu, which again, title screen, if this will come up, <laughs> uh, where's that? I got it. I literally got the trophy just as it was going through the, uh, you know, dev slash publisher uh, logos, which here I'll, I'll show this uh, picture on screen here in a second. <clears throat> right there. Okay, so basically when it came to this point, you know, after hitting the main menu, then, you know, reloading through, before it could get to the, the screen where you have to hit X to continue, uh, the Employee of the Month popped. And I was like, yes, finally! So anyways, for PS4 uh, owners of this game, if you complete the collector requests and you don't get the trophy, just like I said, do what I did, um, when you're done, go to the main menu, and it'll pop. Okay, well, at least it should. <clears throat> Since, well, yeah. Okay, so anyways, now that's all over. Okay, so what is left? Okay, so I need to finish the game, which I'm still worried about that trophy. <clears throat> due to, again, the map stuff, which again, I'll repeat in a second. Uh, we still need to pick up the idol from the treasure hoard, which again, that'll be, I guess, level 30. Uh, we just need one more journal entry for Spaced Out. And historian. Uh, we still need to die and pay it a hundred times, which, yeah, again, that'll probably be the last trophy. And then unlock all schematic doors. Yeah, still need that one. So, anyways, <clears throat> I went and got a few more gems, as we can see. So I got like five here. Got two uh, bridges, which I now realize why I keep trying to call them ladders because ladders. Well, see, I don't know how you do it with these bridges. <clears throat> but ladders, you fold up the same way, okay? And they look like ladders. If you actually look real close, they actually look like ladders. Um, kind of. Okay, well, closed in. Uh, closed in, not so much, but still. It's just... Yeah, so that that's, that's why I keep saying ladders, but again, they're bridges. And, yeah. Okay, so we got one light, we got four dynamite, and yeah, that's, uh... Well, let's head on over to level 13 so I can finally show what I've been promising I'd, we were going to get to. And like I said, just due to time, I decided to light up the area off camera, which like I said a, a few moments, uh, a few minutes ago, it's a good thing I did because it literally took me over half an hour. And yeah, you don't need to see running back and forth, back and forth, back and forth for a whole half an hour. Just to light up that one area, just so I can, you know, we can, we can show it, which again, what I promised many, many episodes ago. Now anyways, uh, as a disclaimer, as I keep saying in every episode, this loading screen here, uh, is any time you're going to see a loading screen, well, I mean, you'll, you'll see it to going into level 13, but after that, all future loading screens will be, you know, uh, cut out of the video, as in I'll pause the recording as, as I go through the loading screens, and... Yeah, you, you'll see. Okay, so anyways, uh, real quick, just to uh, go back to what I was saying before about finish the game, as I, again, am so worried about, which is, from level 20 onwards, it stops saving the exploration uh, 
stats, okay? Like, it's still saving the journal. Everything is still good with the journal. The game is still continuing, but for some odd reason, it's just not saving the exploration. We've tried different things to fix it. It just won't fix. So, yeah, uh, in case if your game is having the same problem, then, well, once we finish this game and then we'll, we'll see if we get the... Uh, the trophy or not, well, then we'll know whether or not, like, if you see this, it's either don't worry about it or it's a very bad thing. But again, we'll, we'll find that out once we complete the game. Which hopefully will be in this episode. Okay, so anyways, back to the miscellaneous part here. Uh, level 13. As I originally said uh, many, many episodes ago, we still needed to explore, well, basically see, because it was all dark, uh, the right section of this map, okay? Like, I originally, when I when we went through level 13, originally, I didn't light up. I did it all in the dark, and you guys couldn't see anything. And, yeah. So, anyway, since then, oh, you, know, you can actually see the bridge I made. Oh, that's kind of cool. Just to the, just to the right of the elevator. You can actually see the little bridge. Huh. That's cool. Okay. Again, <laughs> fully officially last loading screen. Um... However, when we do complete the game, if there's a loading screen during that bit, you'll probably end up seeing that one because, yeah, I don't know what will happen, and I don't want I don't want anything to be missed. Okay, so anyways, yeah, here's a little bridge I made to try to get all the lanterns across. And anyways, this was originally a dark area. Well, I think I did have the. Well, yeah, I had these lanterns set up, but I don't remember if like I set them up right after we did level 13 or during level 13 I can't remember I do know that I, I slowly set these ones up here but I just set up everything else you're gonna see in terms of lanterns so this way you'll get to see well again just that mean you know between the last episode and this episode uh, but anyways I spread out the lights as far as I could so that Number one, I wouldn't have to use so many lights, but also so that we can try to see everything. Because, yeah, it was pitch black over here. Could hardly see anything other than, like, what my character and the fossils. Yep, so there you go. You got to finally see... <laughs> You know what? Uh, well, we also saw the blueprint, you know, originally. Uh, but you finally got to see what it all looks like over here. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so let's continue on with the game. So to I believe level twenty-seven. Uh, yeah, the abyss. Okay, quick correction, it was actually level 28. <laughs> I was thinking it was level 27, but no, it's level 28. So anyways, uh, another little note I want to point out is off camera, I went and got... Hold on. This idol right here. Okay, so this idol is at the lab. <clears throat> now you may be wondering, for anyone who's not in the know on this as to what happened in the most recent episodes, that you may be wondering, wait, if it's in the lab, what in the world is it doing right here? Well, it's because, again, the levels that are not saving, the percentage rate, uh, the explored, sorry, the explored percentage, uh, they're resetting every time I leave. Uh, other, well, other than, thankfully, the gems, they don't reset, okay? and the blueprints do not reset. So like, if you've completed a blueprint, or you completed a gem, or you did grab a journal piece, that you can see on there, uh, they thankfully do not reset. So p main progress is still good, but the explored resets, and any idols you grabbed resets, and also the pieces of the the dino piece is reset, and uh, I think, I, I also want to say this stuff resets as well, the dirt, yeah, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure the dirt, yeah, I have to, yeah, duh, uh, so, with that being said, 
that made these final levels more difficult than they should have been. Like, for example, the last level was crazy, and I wish I could have used, say, bridges and um, supports, but the problem is they reset whenever you leave the level. So, yeah, that's the other thing. Uh, if you put down any bridges, like if I put down a bridge, like say right here, okay, or even right here, it resets. So basically, bridges and supports are useless unless you just stay in the level. And yeah, now of course I still have them, you know, here. Well, I have the bridges. I don't have the sports because uh, the sports are, and again, in this case, useless now with these levels since they're not saving that stuff. Um, the bridges. I only have it if I desperately, desperately need it. And, yeah, a few times I've needed them, but, uh, again, whatever you're using the bridge for, you need to use it then, because as soon as you leave the level, boom. But, again, these are problems only on, I believe, the PS4 version, because I actually did look into, uh, the one playthrough that's on YouTube, the only one I could ever find, and that was played on the PC, at least I think it was, yeah. Well, it had a controller, but I'm pretty sure it was PC version. I didn't really look, you know what, I mean put a disclaimer on that uh, but I did see that that person did not have the same bugs like we have here so yeah I have a much harder time with this game than everyone else because of this stupid bug of things not saving so yay I mean nay I mean ha huh. no really um uh oh Okay, we got a problem. We got a big problem. Uh, I'm gonna need bridges, but the problem is that, um, yeah. If I start using bridges, we can't leave the level. Because, see, that's the other thing. Bridges, uh, <laughs> from the bridge keeper, uh, bridge shopkeeper, sorry, uh, that also is glitched. So... I can only buy one bridge at a time, and I have to literally leave the lab, go to another level, and then go back in the lab, or well, now I think I can leave the lab and go right back in. Yeah, I think I can do that. But still, I have to load out of the lab, and load back in, which takes a good long time, just to get one bridge piece. And then redo it again. And re Yeah, so I have, the game is fighting against me finishing this game in all always just because of these bugs other than that great game i just wish that you know the dev or devs again i still don't know if it's a single dev or if it's multiple devs that again i am so sorry about still not knowing that i just me personally i just have no way of knowing so many apologies on that uh but either way they either don't know about the bugs, or they do know and they just won't fix them. I don't know. I can't. I don't want to, you know, point fingers. I don't want to do any kind of blame games here. Uh, so, yeah. But all I'm saying is that for at least the PS4 version, at least what I've shown in this series, I have a bunch of bugs in this game. More so, you know, whenever you get closer to the end of the game. Mainly starting from, like, again, around level 20. And, um... Yeah, it's just, the game does not want me to finish it. But guess what? It's a good game, and we're finishing it. Besides, I, I've dealt with way worse bugs, so... But still, it's it's not pretty, though. I mean, for example, in terms of bugs... the Not the last game, but a game we just did not too long ago... Portal Knights, that game aggravated me so much. I I, I, I could have just burned the game, even though it's digital. So there's no disc to burn, and even if there was a disc to burn, I still wouldn't do it. I'm, I'm not like that. I don't, I don't destroy things. Even even if I hate the, the game, I would just put on a shelf, you know, if it was a disc. Uh, anyways, for that game, though, oh my god. God to all the uh, the bugs and, and literally game breaking bugs. I mean with Portal Knights I lost literally four hours and 30 minutes total uh, thanks to two issues and um, I could have actually lost more had I um, 
not knowing about some things and whatnot, but um, but yeah, game breaking bugs and and crashes and tons of other stuff. That game was just a complete mess, and I would never recommend Portal Knights to anyone. Well, unless you're on PC version. But uh, but yeah, that game. I mean, hey, if I can get through that game, as we did then, yeah, the, the bugs in this game here, I can get through. Besides, the main thing with this game here, thank God there's been no crashes. So, I will definitely give a thumbs up for that one. If there's one thing I hate more than anything in the world is, is game crashes. Personally, I actually hate them more than game-breaking bugs. Because at least game-breaking... I mean, because at least with crashes, you know, most of the time you just lose a little bit of... Uh, yeah, crashes you lose a little bit of progress. Game breaking bugs, yes, you may lose hours of progress, but you can redo them. Whereas crashes, if a game keeps crashing, 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 and then it won't let you continue, then yeah, whereas game breaking bugs, well, okay, I know I'm being a little backwards here. Um, certain game breaking bugs, most of the time, will let you get around them as long as you know what to do. Crashes, they just happen spontaneously and can keep on happening over and over and over again. Whereas, again, game-breaking bugs, you know where they're at. You normally know how to get around it, if that makes sense. I think I explained it better this time. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't doing such a good job explaining it the first time there. Uh, but, uh, yeah. But, yeah, I, 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 again, okay, like, game-breaking bugs would be number two on the on the list, but it's just, for me, personally, crashes... Oh, hey, finally, good piece here. Um, crash Game crashes is my most number one hated like, bug, if you want to call that, of all time. Like, anytime a game crashes, it just, it, it ticks me off so much. It's like, that's, it's, it's one of the biggest things I, I ask of all game devs, is just please, no crashes, please! <laughs> um, yeah. But anyways, like I was saying with this game, thankfully, we've not had any crashes with this game, so, major thumbs up right there. Watch, now that I'm talking about it, it's probably probably going to happen. I hope and pray not. I hope and pray that uh, we won't have any, any crashes. And yes, I'm mining a lot of bones here, trying to see if we can get anything random here. I mean, we did get, uh, what, two new pieces already? We got this one, and we got this one, so... Yeah. I'm not just randomly uh, digging here. We're, we are trying to see what we can, we can get. Which, actually, I need to start pushing some of these off. Now, it just so happens I do have two bridges with me, so if I can try not to leave this level, if I desperately need the two bridges, we can use them. That's why I brought the, uh, well, that's why I keep trying to bring two bridges. But like I said before, if we leave the level, then I lose the bridges. Okay, so right now what I'm doing is I'm getting the individual pieces, not dupes, but just individual pieces, uh, separated, you know. Now this one, though, we'll need in the middle. Which, actually, let me see if I can try to push it over. We might need that, uh, bridge. Yeah, we're gonna need the bridge. Well, maybe, maybe not. I mean, again, I might be able to farm this piece over there, so... Just in case... Um, well, actually... Okay, I know I need that everywhere. Okay, I, I, I need to see what we all need for this build. Whoops. 
No, 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 grab the other one. Thank you. Okay, now can you gently... Okay. Okay, that will go up there. So, see, like, something like this, I think I could push across. Or maybe not. Yeah. Yeah, the little one, no. Okay, we actually got a lot of these. No, 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 no! Crap. And I actually do, you know what? I'm really tempted on that bridge. Let's just mine some of this. Ah, uh, see, okay, so I can get this piece over here. Oh, wait, but we, did we get a tail on the other side? No, we do not. Alright, alright, alright. I'm gonna need to use the bridge. We should only need just two bridges, so I shouldn't... Hopefully, I won't need anything else. right there okay and then as for the other one well, that's a really close spot right there but then again could have been said the same for that uh let me just make sure This is going to take a while. Oh, but anyways, as I was saying earlier about... Um, not really knowing if the devs are going to fix this. I mean, uh, I mean, sorry, if they, if they knew about this to fix it, or if they just don't care, yada yada yada, or person, or they, whomever. Um, the only thing I do know, as what I've stated in earlier episodes about, you know, devs or dev, again, I don't know, um, is that the one dev who has been active out there on a few forums and uh, I did see a comment in one video on the, on the other channel. Again, whether he's the only dev or one of the devs, but um, there was a few points where he he said in different forums that oh, you know, hoard those gems. You're gonna need them for content update. Blah 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 blah. And he had said that for years, and yeah, it's been years, and nothing nothing's ever come of that. So, with that being said chances are this game is never going to be fixed and it's never going to get the content that update that it was supposed to or it was promised to get
Which in that regard, all I can say, as I stated before, is... Don't make promises you can't keep. You know? So, don't go out there saying that, you know, you're gonna add something and then, you know, don't end up not doing it. Especially whenever you don't even say uh, why. I mean, like, there was one, one point where the dev did say, like, better paying work, but still was working on the thing. And, well, again, that was years ago. So, it's like, well, why didn't you at least come out and just say it's not happening? That way, don't keep people hoping for nothing. That's like, for example, I've... Back on my live streaming, I originally had plans to do stuff and was fully intent on doing the stuff. And even, even I still want to do the stuff, but I had to straight up come out and say, hey, you know, said stuff can't be done. And I even explained why, you know, I didn't just say, oh, it just can't be done. No, I, I explained why uh, the projects I wanted to do could not be done. And, and hopefully someday, you know, it would, the issues would be able to be uh, resolved and I can finally do said projects, but, um, but yeah, I, if, if we want to say it this way, I, I stated the, uh, oh, what the hey's going on over here? I stated the facts. I said, you know, can't be done, at least not now, instead of just leaving people hoping like, oh, hey, so when's it coming, when's it, and, and you know, not say anything, no, no, I'm not going to leave people uh, in false hope. So like for Camp Done, Camp Done. Or if there's a reason, then hey. Well, like in this case, I said why, so. Uh, wait, do we need this over here? Yes, we do. Like, for example, and, I, and I'll give an example just to make it so that in case someone's saying, Oh, you're just saying that, blah, blah, blah. No, no, and no. Um, okay, why is this a little glitchy over there? Anyways, as I was saying, uh, one of the things I had originally promised was Minecraft Season 2. Which, we did a Season 1, and I was fully intent on doing season two I mean I'm talking I was I was taking the time to write up a, uh, a script write up uh, characters um, where are we at here no, I don't like that. Uh, write up lore details I mean just just everything you can think of okay creating season two for minecraft or, or minecraft series and it was going to be big. It was even going to have um, special, uh, we'll, we'll call it in this case cutscenes, because again, this was back whenever I was still only streaming. I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't doing videos, so you know we couldn't have any uh, like full edited videos. No, no, no. This was just simply like live streaming, but it was all going to be like live time for the uh, for the show. And, um, however, there was going to be a few little pieces here and there that were actually going to be recorded bits due to, you know, needing to have edited pieces for special effects. And, um, I, there was just, there was going to be so much. There was literally going to be so much. It was literally going to be the biggest thing ever for, for my channel. Uh, biggest thing I've ever done for, for my channel and whatnot. And... That all came crashing down first whenever our main co-op partner for the series, uh, his schedule just wasn't working anymore, so, you know, we couldn't get him in there for, for, um, to do the series, because doing, like, maybe one episode a week just wasn't going to cut it in terms of live streaming. And then later on, oh, here we need this piece, later on, 
uh, Minecraft decided to change their code and everything and change how the game works from the uh, original um, what do you call that? Not vanilla. Um, what, what do you call the... <laughs> I can't remember what the original was called. Well, anyways, they have the new version called Bedrock Edition. Well, thanks to the Bedrock Edition, I can't do a lot of the stuff that I was trying to do originally for my original project, and that really put the, uh, the nail in the coffin. The final nail in the coffin. Uh, so, like, right at that point, it's like, nope, mm -mm, can't do it anymore. Now, if... If Bedrock, because see, Bedrock's missing so many things, and even though it has so much, so much to it, I mean, yeah, Bedrock is a lot more than, oh, I need this, um, than the original version, but it's missing certain basic things that <laughs> I kind of need for my project, and, uh, yeah. Wait, do we need this for anything else? No. Okay, so we can get rid of this piece over here. But anyways, I still have like everything, all my notes, all my uh, all my information and research into the into the project. Still, you know, I still got it all. Hoping, still hoping and praying that someday uh, the bedrock version. Oh, I missed this piece right here. Oh no, I totally missed that. That was dumb on my part. Anyways, as I was saying, so yeah, I'm still hoping and praying that someday I can do the project, do Minecraft Season 2. Now, eventually, in terms of uh, stuff like that, as different seasons and or shows, um... We will eventually get to Seven Days to Die Season 3, which we already did two seasons on live streaming, so again, with that being live streaming, I don't have that on my channel here. Um, so, yeah. I do have a little recap video, so, I mean, there is at least that, but that's really all I have left from that. But anyways, as for Seven Days to Die Season 3... Yeah, that will happen someday, once once me and my call partner can uh, get around to recording that series. Which actually, I think it will be a little different now, because the fact that since we're not live streaming it, I can, I can put a little, we can do a little bit more to it, you know, since it will be recorded videos, so uh, maybe I can... Think about, think more on that. Oh no, there was a wing right there. Uh, think more on that, and again, do do uh, do a lot more. Um, but yeah, I don't know when that's gonna be. Probably not for another year or two. So there's so much more we have to do before that. And uh, me and him can only get like two re um, two different days every week to do recording. We only have enough for like enough time for like maybe four episodes of whatever we're working on a week. So... It's taken a long time just to do the current series we're working on right now.
Okay, so we need that here, and then do we need that anywhere over here? No. Okay, so this is the last one we need of this, this type. Now, anyways, when I say seven days die, though, uh, I am referring to the... Ah, I lost it. I'm, of course, referring to the PS4 console version, which is literally nothing like the PC version. So, yeah. So, it's a, it's a bare-bones show to begin with, but hopefully someday, if... Uh, the devs of Seven Days Die ever finishes the game on PC, which, yeah, like that will ever happen. Um, <laughs> they've been at it for a long time. Uh, anyways, if they can ever finish that game, then hopefully someday we'll get to see a up-to-date version on maybe PS5 or <laughs> by the time they finish, maybe PS6. And, um... Then we'll have all the bells and whistles that PC has for the console version for our series. And then, oh wow, things can really pick up after that point. Because, yeah, I've seen bits here and there as to what PC version has. And wow, we could do so much with, with all that. Anyways, as for Seven Days to Die Season 3, the bare bones version, we'll call it like that so you understand. Um, yeah, I still, since we're nowhere near close to it, I haven't like, did any, I haven't done any writing or anything in terms of like, where the story is going to go, because uh, Season 1, just to kind of like, put the, I mean, this is public info, I mean, you can find this info um, on my Twitch page. Uh, about what happened in Season 1 and Season 2. Um, so, Season 1, what happened was that it wasn't... It wasn't... Oh, God. Um, how do I put... Um... In terms of, like, a full-fledged story or anything like that, there really wasn't much going on with Season 1. It wasn't until actually Season 2 that really, right at the end, picked up a, a story with, like, an unknown character that we haven't seen yet. Um, got a message from, so to speak. But, um... But anyways, in terms of the... The overall, like, season, you know, the two seasons. Like, Season 1, essentially... How do I how do I explain this? Uh, coming from this point of view, um, how about I just say it this way? Basically, the story is where World War Three has happened, okay, and there, due to due to that, you know, there was a some kind of chemical outbreak which caused the zombies, okay, and it caused the zombie outbreak, yada yada yada, and um. Essentially, my character and my co-op partner's character is essentially like what we believe is the last two people left, you know. Um, again, there's there's more to it than what I'm saying. I'm just saying, again, I'm trying just a cliff note version here. And we're, we're stuck with all these, uh, these zombies all around. And essentially, season one sees us just... You know, building a home in, in the woods, essentially trying to survive the, the zombie outbreak. And then, towards the end of Season 1, our home gets destroyed from a massive zombie attack. Uh, that 
again, there, there was, there's a full, actually, I think I actually, even that's in the recording as to what actually happens, why it leads to that. I mean, it's not just, it just doesn't happen. It, it there is, there's reasons for it. And I, again, I, I'm not saying too much right here, right now, but because I mean, ah, no, right. Since, you know, this, we're, we're trying to do this game right here, you know, uh, fossil hunters. And I, I know not many people want to be hearing about, uh, seven days to die right now. You want to be just seeing fossil hunters. I'm sorry. Um, but anyways, yeah, so, uh, um, a massive battle happens, we lose the house, and then, like, that's essentially the end of season one. Season two picks up literally, literally, right off from season one, where me and the co-op partner, um, main co main co-op partner, um, we essentially then go around the world in season two, you know, the world of the game, you know, and clear out zombies as we go, help the, uh, help the world, by, oh crap, by repairing things and cleaning up places and just overall seeing the world. I mean, we, we kind of use season two to do that, just to see the, the entire map, you know, push, push for the uh, narrative to, to go around the entire map and everything, which, yeah, that was actually fun going around the whole map and everything. But uh, anyways, anyways. Uh, and then we would like bunker down, like any time it was time for us to leave, we would of course, you know, try to make shelters or, or, or um, you know, makeshift shelters slash uh, hiding in, in places like a hospital and, and other things uh, for, you know, when, when we had to like, you know, quit and whatnot and wait to, again, we, we did it <laughs> pretty decently and anyways, um, oh, I need this piece. Anyways, what happened in the end is, at the end of Season 2, we finally got word of that the fact we're, you know, our characters are not the only two left. There's, there's people out there, but we've only heard of just one person. Hey, look at that, we completed a puzzle. Um, and, um, essentially, anyways, at the end of Season 2, thanks to everything we did, during season two, it allowed the the unknown people that we you know we didn't know existed uh, to. Uh, well, no, I take that back. I take that back. I take that back. I take that back. There is shopkeepers. That's right. We did find out in season two, or I think it was season two. Was it during season one? It's been many years since we did this, so, so I'm I'm a little uh, fuzzy on the whole thing. We did know about shopkeepers. That's right. We did know about shopkeepers, but we I'm talking like. Yeah, well, basically, that was, like, the premise of the beginning. Like, when we first started, you know, we didn't know about other other people being alive, yada, yada, yada. I mean, that's... Okay, I kind of jumped the gun there as I was trying to explain. It, it's for, it's properly explained on my channel, uh, on my Twitch channel, uh, under the write-up for co-op series. It's properly 100% explained there. I'm doing a bad job right here, because, I'm, again, I'm trying to concentrate on this game here. <laughs> I'm doing a terrible job. I mean, if I was just sitting down, not playing the game, then I could, you know, thoroughly think properly and I could I could you know say everything correctly but uh, it's a little difficult when I'm trying to really concentrate on this puzzle here <laughs> yeah so uh, I'm very very sorry about that um again I'm trying the game is like right here the false hunters is kind of like in 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 the front you know and it's the top run top priorities number uh, the number one priority right now in my head so like uh, everything I'm saying I'm trying to think of the story of seven days to die is kind of like you know it's 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 second it's it's uh in the background so so I'm having trouble here trying to think and concentrate on what I'm saying since again full focus on the game uh yeah anyways as I was saying so um due to the you know, the shopkeepers and you know the and and others uh that we of course didn't know about uh, whoops. Um, after everything we did in season two for the people of the world, they actually surprisingly rebuilt our house for us. So basically, at the end of season two, we literally got our house back, which was one of the greatest things because we put so much work, I mean, it was, the house was the main focus of season one, building that all up and everything, and surviving and hiding from the zombies in the woods, and, um, just losing it at the end of season one was, was devastating enough, after the, the massive battle, and, um, 
just... It was just a nice thing at the end of Season 2. Like, yay, we finally have our house back! <laughs> yeah, I, I know, it doesn't sound like much, but trust me, again, if you read the whole thing on a Twitch channel... Then, yeah. Do I need that piece? No, I need another leg, I need another... Oh no, spine with leg, I need another wing. And then another actual leg, okay. That's not the leg piece I needed. Oh! Well, I fell. Okay, let's try digging from this side over here. I didn't even try this side yet. Did I? Oh, I don't think I did. Wow, the, the cave-ins happen way too quick. I mean, we barely get any digging in, and then boom, instant cave-in. Okay, well apparently digging in the back is much better. Oh, gem! As for a Minecraft series, uh, just to give a little bit of detail on that, tr there, trust me, there's nothing really to say about Minecraft though. Again, Season 1 wasn't really anything, but Season 2 was supposed to be literally a full show, um, as I briefly mentioned earlier. But um, Season 1 was literally, <laughs> again, it wasn't originally meant to be a show uh, back in Season 1, but we kind of like just turned it into a show um, afterwards due to what happened, and, and again, based on the plans that I had for Season 2 to be able to go back to the game, and, and um, yeah. But anyways, as for Season 1, it was basically all that was done. Again, this was back in 2014? No, 2015. Yeah, season, Minecraft Season 1 was 2015, so again, yeah, back then we had no, no real plans. Oh, no. No, 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 no! I'm dead. But anyways, yeah, yeah. So back back on um, back in 2015 for Minecraft season one, when we played through it, uh, just basically all it really was, like I said, was just uh, me and the main co-op partner, basically just going through the game on console and getting all the the trophies, you know, platinum in the game, and that was really it. Uh, but what happened was story-wise. Oh, here we go. Finally, got a piece. Story-wise, essentially, was... We... We took on the Ender Dragon. Well, let me, let me rephrase. Um, with this, this what, what we came up with, what I came up with for a story for, for Minecraft Season 1, just to get a little bit in there. Uh, basically, as we were playing, in this case, playing the game, but, you know, as we were going through the world, yada yada yada, Minecraft Season 1, we overheard the villagers, okay, you know, the little villagers in the game, we heard them talking about, um, 
a dragon rising in power. Okay, so then eventually in the end, we sought out the dragon and took on the dragon and defeated the dragon. But the problem is, uh, due to the battle, it, uh, oh, I don't even need this piece. Um, it basically wiped out our world. And we had to retreat to an old world, which is actually what I had. Um, and literally, this was kind of legit because, uh, in, in turn, I, I kind of based the story off of what really happened, so to speak. Where number one, we did go against the dragon because of the, tro um, uh, the trophies, but as for us losing the original world, as for the legit part, is literally, I somehow. Uh, the files, I somehow lost the the original world. I mean, it wasn't me that loses files. I mean, like, literally, on my console, when I load up the game, uh, yeah, load up the game, for some reason, our, uh, our world was just wiped. I mean, it wasn't, like, wipe-wiped. I mean, like, we could still access the very start, the very first area, but, oh, no, how am I gonna get this through here? Uh, oh, good, here we go. Um, like, we could access the very first area, but, like, after that, beyond that, then, no. Everything that we had access to was all, like, reset. Like, kind of like, imagine, like, a Minecraft update happening and then just resetting everywhere you haven't been. Well, the problem is we were in certain, you know, different places of the map, and it was just all, like, a brand new map outside of our... Our starting area where we where we built everything up. So, um, I'll give an example in a second here. So, like, imagine like this being the starting area right here, and we work and work and work our butts off in this area. Everything's good, everything's fine, yada yada yada. And then eventually, over time, we eventually branch out over here, and then we eventually branch out over here. Okay, but then like after we did the series, at some point when I logged back in the game. All this was still here, okay, all our builds and stuff were still here, but all of a sudden, everything over here, and everything over here was all gone. Just totally reset, a whole brand new world, like, what the, what the heck happened? And of course, um, Minecraft, uh, the devs, they said, oh, you know, nothing got reset that, you know, you previously been to or built in, and yeah, we were previously in, you know, these extra areas, and we even put stuff down to... You know, signify that, hey, we've been here, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I mean, we didn't really build drastically. Well, actually, no, I take it back. There was one spot we did build. We actually built, like, a whole wall around a town, protecting this one town and whatnot. And it was, uh, the, the whole town was, like, in half. It was literally, like, cut in half. And, uh, yeah. So, anyways, our world was messed up drastically. And I couldn't figure out what happened. And somehow, I still, to this day, don't understand what happened. Somehow, the... The files, the save files on the console somehow got, like, changed to where, I don't know how to explain it, and I don't even, I'm not even going to try to explain it, but bottom line is, we, I somehow did manage to get the file back, but it wasn't until years later uh, that I was able to finally get the file back. So, literally, I worked in the story for Minecraft Season 2 that our world was wiped. <laughs> literally, from the, from the, from the dragon... Uh, battle. So it was. I just kind of used the the you know what really happened to to fit into our story. And anyways, for Minecraft season two, it was supposed to be the where um um we try to return. Yeah, okay. So again, this is for Minecraft season two. This season that has not happened. That I hope and pray someday will happen. And essentially. Um, the story it was supposed to be where we try to return back to our, our original world, okay? But the problem is, we, when we go through the portal... To, oh, hey, here we go, finally got the last piece. Um, when we finally go through the portal to go back to our world, the problem is, we end up somewhere else. We don't end up in our world, we end up in a different world. It's like, wait, what the hey is going on here? <laughs> Why are we in a new world? And anyways, um, as for Minecraft Season 2, it was going to be so, so big. I literally even made a full trailer for it and everything. Uh, which I even showed on my channel a couple times here and there. And, hey, What?
Unlock all schematic doors. I thought that was only for the gems. You're telling me that was for the blueprints as well? So wait, we're done with the gems now? Unless I just got the trophy early. I mean, that could have happened. Um... Okay, I'm confused. I'm, like, very confused. I mean, hey, if I don't need the gems anymore, that'd be great, because, you know, I can get all this stuff off my uh, elevator here. Okay, are we... D oh, I'm a dingbat! Though this whole time I had the power up right here. This could have helped. Oops. Alright, on to... The next level. And... Yeah, actually, no, on to the map screen. Okay, the Abyss, level 29. Which... Wait, there's no level 30. Um, why is there no level 30? <laughs> the game states there's 30 levels. Unle oh, well, unless 30 will show up after we finish this. Okay, I'll just leave the gems in the elevator, but, uh, yeah. Well, let's find out. Uh, you know what, this is going to be a very quick loading screen, so we're just going to let this one go, just because I don't know what's going on here. Like, are we in the ground floor? <laughs> what's going on? Again, again, it's very, very quick loading screen. See, it's already popping in. There, there it goes. Whoa, what the hey? Okay, we got lava manders. We got lava manders. We got lava. And we got... What the... I j uh, what? Um... Wait, how am I supposed to get back up to the elevator? Uh... Do we need anything before we hop down? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Um... See, I... I uh, hoo, 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 good God. Um... I don't think we can come back up here. And what? Seriously, there's a giant ske There's a giant, giant skeleton underneath me. What? And there's also a radio right next to us somewhere. So I can hear it. But uh, seriously, do I do I need anything here? I don't know. I don't want to like go down there and then find out. Oh no, I missed. I you know, just go for it. Just go for it. Wee. No. Oh my god! Oh, it's got all the powers. It's got a giant gem, what the heck? Oh wait, this isn't a gem. Oh, this is the idol that we dropped. Whoops, okay. Pick up an idol from the treasure hoard. What? Okay, wait, wait, wait. So we have one, one journal entry. This is it, right here. Boom. Spaced out. And historian, ha <laughs> yeah, more junk. Yeah, everything falls down here. Was she doing a waste audit of this dino's hoard? Kilograms, lamps, crates, supports, gold. Oh, now that makes sense with the junk part. Also, I did find out apparently on PC they have 23 uh, journal pieces, whereas on P uh, PS4 they only have 22. So it's kind of weird. Yeah, 23, 22. Wow. Um, okay, so we do have lamps down here. Oh, we got... Oh! This might be everything we th we dropped and slash uh, lost, right? Hey, it's the other one. But how do we get back to the elevator? And yes, I will attend to the 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 uh, the radio soon here. I'm just freaking out right now over what I'm seeing. Massively freaking out. 
Okay, so seriously, what's with the whole level 30? I literally looked up multiple, uh... Multiple things from the, the game sell page to... Uh, the, the, the review I saw to... Um, there was something else I even just saw just recently here. Where it said 30 levels, and yet... This is level 29, where's the 30th level? But yet, this looks like the end. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna answer the radio. Just get some light in the situation. On the situation. All right, who's who's calling us? Hey, look at this enormous skull. There's some other enormous fossils around here, around here somewhere too. You know what to do. Find those pieces and put them together so we can get rich. Wait, how the hey is the collector seeing this? I like how the the dino here is like holding holding stuff like hey this is my stuff don't you be touching my stuff okay massively freaking out oh hey wait 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 these this right here is this supposed to be the uh the actual like skeleton here yeah i think it is yeah because here's the f foot and there's the tail okay so we need to find pieces and put them all in each of these slots like this, and then find out where it goes. I should have probably ran around first before dragging this thing around. Okay, here's a piece. Okay. I saw this one somewhere. I think I just saw the other piece. Yeah, this thing. Okay, we just saw this somewhere. Here. Whoops. Okay, so we need a curved one and a straight one, not this version. Okay, so we can at least take this curved one. Oh, wait, no, no, I need turn, not curved. Oh, here it is. Oh wait, no, that one was just made. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Okay, so the little foot. Little foot! But wait, where's Petrie and Sarah and Ducky and... Uh, Spike. Okay, didn't I see wings somewhere? 
this sworn or so wing summers. Oh, we also need this base before it gets destroyed. Oh, I think I need this piece back here. Lavamander. Oh, I see a turn piece in the back. Uh, this is not good. It looks. Whoop! Whoa! Did I just turn it the wrong way? Oh, for crying out loud! I did turn it the wrong way. Okay, the uh, triangle piece, the tri piece, right there. Right, so we can get this somewhere safe. Um, oh no, he's going through. Oh, he went through this area. Whoa, okay, we need this piece. I'm sure I saw this somewhere, right? Yeah, there. Okay, I just saw where the- oh, here it is. Oh, there's the spiky spine part. Lavamander, what are you doing? You better not be a pain like before. Whoa, got that out of there just in time. Okay, what are we missing? Ah, uh, there's where we need that one leg. Which... Oh, good, still here. Okay, so we still need the tiny spine piece. I still need the curved piece that was over here, but I think it's been- Oh no, it's still- it's still here. No! What the hell happened? I 
Okay, we need the foot. I know I just had a foot. Where, where was it at? It's down here? Here. Uh, is that all? No, I still need the cur the turn piece. Oops. Can we go inside the skull? Ooh. Neat. <laughs> it's like here, we're, we're just in here, you know, we're, we're the local dentist. We're just, we're just cleaning the teeth. Just clean the teeth, that's all. Okay, I still need the turn piece and I think that's it in terms of like the local stuff. Aha! Here we go. Alright, let's see if this is all we need. I mean, I know we still have to hit the outer stuff, but... Mm. Oh, I feel like this is a needed piece. And I'm never gonna get to it in time because it's gonna break. Crap. Yep, there it goes. Ah, I got out of there just in time. I see if we can try to get this in somewhat of a safe spot. Maybe right there. Yeah, it's not really safe, but where it is? It's just usually if you find a big piece like that. Whoa! What the? Oh my God! You can move. The oh! Ho ho ho! Ho ho! Hold the phones, dude! We got a big piece here. Oh wow! Okay, where's this thing go? Never had a big gigantic piece before. All right, we're gonna put that there. To try to be safe from the lava manders. Or maybe we don't need those pieces anymore. Maybe we just need these big pieces. Whoa! Look at this. Look at this thing. Just look at that. Oh my gosh, it's trash and everything. No! No! Oh, good gosh, he's gonna break it. He's totally gonna. Uh, maybe he might not break it. Maybe he'll just go through. Let's just push on through. Okay, he's pushing. He's pushing. No! No! Lava Manda! Hey! Stop it! Stop it! I can't! Gotcha! Move it! Hey! Hey, 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 you're glitching me all over the place here. Come on. Please. Throw me a bone here. Come on. Oh, no. I think I'm kind of stuck. All right. There we go. There we go. Now we're making progress. Okay, so... Oh, oh, we're stuck again. What are we stuck on? There we go. Um, where do these pieces go? This looks like a foot. Oh, 
Oh, wait, here we go. Turn the thing. I think I see the spot. If it even goes here, I'm not even sure. Like that. Right? Wrong? I guess I don't need this anymore. And as for this, I guess it goes over here. I am so lost and confused, it's not even funny. Boom. Kaboom, boom, 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 boom. So all we're doing is just breaking everything. And all I'm gonna do is say, I'm sorry. Okay, so I think this goes with this piece. Oh, oh, it's glowing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, okay. Now it's starting to come together. I wonder if this thing's going to, like, come alive afterwards. Okay, we still need two more pieces. And here's one of them. If I can get to it. Hopefully this is actually a very easy level. It's just a little bit of pain trying to push on through though, but uh, other than that, very easy, very nice. I like it. <laughs> Basically, hey, you ever want to be a bulldozer in your life? Well, uh, yeah, this is the this is the one time you get to be a bulldozer. Just bulldozing everything. Ah, there you go. Oh, wow. Okay, I flipped into place. Okay, so now we just need one more piece, and hold on. Kind of drive me insane over here. There we go. It's like, hey, Lava Manders, this time we get to be the Lava Manders. Well, we're like, oh no, oh crap, oh crap, 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 ah! No! Get back here. We're not finished with you, with you yet. I'm pretty sure we just took up bulldozing as a new profession in this game. Wait, which way is which? It's this way? Pretty sure, right? No. Yeah. No, 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 it's not that way. It's the other way. Turn it around! Wait, that means we're missing a hand. Can I have a hand? Then, then you see people clapping in the background. No, not that kind of hand. Yeah, okay, so we're missing a, we're missing a, missing a hand. Would that be right down here, anywhere? Else? No. Yes. No. Maybe so. No. Okay, so where is the hand? Games like uh, no dinosaurs like talk to the hand. Well, excuse me. How can I talk to the hand if I don't know where it's at? Aha! Here's the hand. Or in this case, claw. That's a big claw. Is there anything else over here? We didn't even like look around. Ah! 
That didn't happen. Okay, we came, we saw, we conquered. Alright, move on. Oh, well, we didn't look over here. I'm sorry. Space! Wait, what was that? No. More space! Okay, again, it's not really space. Well, in a matter of, in a matter of speaking, it's space. You know, it's open space. Not space space is in outer space, but it is open space. So, I guess I can legally say, space! All right, let's bring this big old claw, big old hand. That didn't happen either. Big claw. On over to where it's supposed to be, come on. Almost there. Almost at end game. I mean, we are in end game in, in a way, but we're almost done with the game. I think we just gotta do this. Well, see, there's still that level 30 bit. I, don't, I still don't know what's going on there. Okay, something's wrong. It's not moving. Move. Come on, you can do it. We're, we're just, just a little bit more game. Come on, come on, you can do it. Yes! Yeah! Oh my god, look at all the money! Hey, it just threw my stuff out of my elevator. Oh, grab the money. Grab all the money. Hopefully it doesn't vanish. We're rich, I tell you, rich! Oh my god, it's so much money. I feel like a vacuum cleaner right now. Just vacuuming up all, all, vacuuming up all the uh, the money. Oh, good gosh! It's a horrible sight. Uh, let's see. All right, real quick, real quick, real quick. Uh, throw that in there because that belongs in there. I know that belongs in there. Uh, let's see. Grip. Nope, I don't want that. I want this. Yes. Throw that in there. I don't need that, I don't need the dupes. Toss that in there. As it lags. Ah, uh, Lava Manor, what the hell are you doing over here? Eek! Oh no, he's gonna blow it up! Thanks, Lava Mander. What a way to ruin a uh, perfectly good moment there. Oh yeah, go ahead, save the bridge. Don't save anything else. Haha. Uh -huh. Um. Okay, everything else looks good and everything else looks okay. Hey, come here. And all right, let's talk to collector. And yeah, we just need to die in a pit a hundred times. Actually, here, you know, real quick, real quick, real quick. Um, we now that we have the money to do this. Uh, give me about five minutes. To, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, we we did die a bunch of times, so just uh, hang in there. <laughs> uh. This is one of those, those broken records on repeat. I knew I should have farmed this a little bit ago. See, technically, when we finished the game, that should whoa, that should have given us the. I mean, if I had you know done this right and did that ahead of time, whenever we finished the game back there. Um, We could have gotten the platinum, and that would have been a nice uh, platinum screen. But no. Well, I mean, come on. I how, how was I supposed to know? But hey, at least we did finish the game. You know, at least we got that trophy. I was so worried about that. And this is how you farm for a platinum. You just you just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. Wait, isn't that the definition of insanity? 
doing the same thing over and over and over and over again, thinking you're going to get a different result. Remember, Vast has taught us all well. Where's that ball? Vast. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, Far Cry 3. Almost there. <laughs> There it is! Yeah! Platinum! Ultimate Fossil Hunter. Okay, I can confirm you can get the platinum with the bugs that I've encountered. Yes, yeah, so if you have the same bugs I have in, in this game, don't worry, you can still get platinum. That's proof right there. Oh, our character wasn't even on screen. So we got the platinum not even being on screen. That's great. I mean, no, no. I mean, I'm I'm being sarcastic with the great part. Uh, yeah, actually, that saddens me. Saddens me because I actually did want the character on you know, in in the photo. Um, how about this one? Did did our character was our character in this? Oh, good. The character was in this photo. Okay. Oh, and we're glowing. Good, good, good. Uh, all right. Now we can talk to the collector and find out what in the world's going on. Wow, that was incredible! Truly spectacular! Awe-inspiring! A sight to behold! The greatest paleontological... I said that wrong. Discovery the world has ever seen! Dut dut dut. Real big. <laughs> that deserves a special reward, don't you think? Something so rare and valuable, you'll treasure it forever. From me, your friend, the collector, to you. My favorite fossil hunter. I'll just slip it in your journal with my radio powers. Oh. You should also know I've been judging you this entire time. No big deal. You can keep this score in your journal, but don't think that means you're off the hook. I'll keep watching if you... You know, want to keep trying to impress me. I'll keep updating your scores. Now let's get out of here. It's spooky down here. Whoa! Whoa, check this out. What the? Wait, that's the collector? Excuse me, what? Okay, so to total money earned. 47,079, which I'm assuming is probably the lowest amount compared to like everyone else, because everyone else probably made tons and tons of fossils where, you know, we mainly just went for the trophies and that was it. Total gems collected, 84. Again, probably <laughs> one of the lowest amounts. Largest skeleton submitted, 27 pieces, wow. Uh, actually, I think that might have been that one that we had to do for the blueprint, so... Okay, so I guess it was 27 then. Unless... Did I do one of those? No, I don't think I did one myself 27. I'm pretty sure it's for the blueprint. Again, I could be wrong. I actually don't remember now. Uh, most valuable skeleton was 1,680 coin... Wait, that might have been the either the largest skeleton, or that might have counted as the, uh... The, the final one we just did. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. A uh, number of deaths, 130. Okay, so we got about 100 to 101 uh, pit deaths, which were... See, I don't even... This is the worst part. I don't know how many times I died from the pit uh, legitimately rather than that farming we just did right at the end, right there. Uh, but the other, like less than 30 deaths there because again I think I did die one more time from the pit than I should have for the trophy but anyways uh, so we'll say at least 29 deaths from either lava unless lava count as pit see I'm not sure about that one uh, but definitely we can count it as being crushed or blown up so there is that notes discovered 89 wait okay so that, that would be yeah that would be the journal pieces right I'm assuming that's what that means it has to be duh uh, completion time. One day, seven hours... Nine, wait, that can't be right. One day and seven... 
No, we were Oh. Oh, wait, we're on episode 12 now. Let's see. Three. I'm gonna have to look into that. I couldn't have been a day and seven hours already. Really? No. Hold on. I have this stuff right here. Um. Okay, it's right. Yeah, I did not think we were at it that long already. Wow. Okay, uh, Collector, why don't I have business cards? That's a good question. Uh, Collector, Rare Fossil Requisitions, Radio Channel 9. But seriously, why does the Collector look so different compared to everyone else? I mean, it almost looks like he's like an anime character, and, and our characters are cartoon characters. Uh, I don't know how else to explain it. Um, kind of looks nutty uh, in, in that regard. Uh, wow. Just wow. It's just, it's all this is wow. Anyways, okay, so I'm assuming up next is going to be the credits. Yep, there's the credits. Oh, okay. Technical director was Ryan Miller. Ryan Miller, I think that was the name I kept seeing all over the place, I think. Hey, there's our, our characters. Oh, no, it was Matt. Wait, it wasn't Matt Miller. No, that's not. I thought it was a Miller. I'm going to have to double check that name I saw on the forums. If I find, I, I, I know it'd be like, hey, that's, you know, I'll actually double check that right before we end here. Okay, so I didn't really see much names. I just saw... Well, we saw the... Technical. Was that supposed to be, like, I guess, essentially the main dev? And then we saw the the sound. So, I guess the we got brothers here. Um, but... Uh, I, I'm gonna have to go back for the recording. Um, let me see if I can quickly bring up that name I've been seeing. <clears throat> Just so I can say who has been... Uh, let's see, that one. The one that I've been seeing on the internet here is talking. Uh, that one dev I re referred to was Ryan Miller. Okay, so that'd be the technical... No. T now I forget the title. Okay, so that would essentially... T if, if his name was any name there, that means this is essentially a one dev game even though it said the bro i guess it was brother it said matt right matt miller was the sound so i'm assuming the brother but again it doesn't have to be brother it could be could be relative I don't know. any any relative um but almost again it makes me think it is a is, is a one man uh indie indie game so to speak even though that gets a little technical whenever you say that, because, again, whenever you have people work on sound or other things, yada, 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 then it's like, wait, is it still considered by one person? Even though, of course, all the coding, you know, blah, 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 blah. blah. Okay, so thanks for playing. Uh, okay, so I had, to the, I, I had to hit the X button on that. I was giving it a little moment there, but uh, had to hit the X button. Yeah, so anyways, Ryan Miller was the one uh, going around talking in different places. So his name is the only name I've been seeing. Uh, out there. And of course, you know, we just saw him on the credits, so... Yeah, it's it's still tough to say if it's officially one one person indie game. But there's been quite a few of them. Yeah. 
I mean, yeah, there's there's many out there. I mean, it's you know small small, uh, but you know getting to at least this where you can actually see something like this on console and yeah, it's big enough that I can port over to console. All right, let's quickly hop back in the game real quick. I just want to see where it puts us. Um, we'll go back to default. Is it putting me? It sounds like I'm going being put in the lab. Yes, I'm back in the lab. Okay. Uh, everything. Yeah, the gems I quickly threw. It's a good thing I threw the stuff in in the elevator. Wow, because look, there it is. Yeah. Okay, everything else looks good. Now, normal. Okay, so even though this is officially the final episode in terms of our playthrough here. Um, I'm not going to label the episode itself as final episode, and the reason why is just in case if, you know, the game was ever updated and we actually did get more content to the game, which again, I doubt it. I doubt it's ever going to happen because it's been years, but, um, again, just in case, <laughs> I'm not going to write final episode, uh, so that, you know, maybe someday we'll, we'll be able to come back to this if there's ever content added, but if there's never content then that's it this would officially be the final episode so yeah because uh, that's actually what i'm even trying to do on my youtube channel like basically if i know for a fact i'm never going to return to a certain game then that means and if it says final if, basically if it says final episode that means yeah we're done we're not returned to it at all there's no follow-up there's no yada 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 well for, that's for the main stuff I, I i i should say that would be different if i'm talking about maybe our seasons but but that would be a little different because i think i would put in there like season one season two season three, you know that kind of stuff so i mean that would make more sense you know because then you'd know like oh hey follow up to season one okay that's different whereas in this case in this case you got a game you know and um oh hey look there's game score um did that just go straight to the wait a minute what Okay, so like it, it totally put us in a random spot there. Hey, you know what? Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll slowly. I'll just slowly scroll through the entire journal just because we have it all complete uh, before we end here. But um, but yeah, if I have oh, there's where it put me. Okay, I was trying to figure out where the yeah. um. But yeah, if we're doing a game like this, you know, where it's not a show, it's not seasons, and it says final episode, then yeah, it's it's done. But uh, if it doesn't say final episode, like this one won't, then that means there could eventually be DLC or something like that later on down the road. But again, that's not guarantee. Like this one, again, like I've said before, they said, <laughs> but that was years ago, so chances are it probably won't happen. But you never know. Okay, here we go. Went through all the journal pages. Um, of course, here's the, as I showed before, uh, or was that last episode? I can't remember. That was last episode, this episode. And then, of course, there's all the there's all the builds. Okay. And then, of course, there's the Sammy Rock. There's all ten idols. All four shopkeepers. And while we're at it, you know what, real quick, okay, you're going to see a loading screen. Uh, while we're at it, let's just quickly look at the levels. Oh, that's why they say there's 30 levels. They're counting the lab. Oh, I never, never thought of that until I just, until just right now. Literally right now, I just, just saw it. That's why, okay, so there's 29 level levels, okay, but the reason why everyone says 30 is because they're counting the lab. So now it makes sense. I was like, wait, what What the hey happened? What happened to level 30? <laughs> yeah, so this whole time I've been wrong. Sorry. I didn't know. Hey, how was I supposed to know? I, I, this was essentially like a blind playthrough. Yeah, see, this is level 1. Then this is the extra set that brings us up to uh, level 30 since we're going to go down to... 
Level 29. Wait a minute. What the? It was still, oh, that was weird. It was showing the star for a second there. But yeah, okay, so again, if you get the glitch where it's not saving these levels in terms of the exploration and whatnot, uh, as long as it's saving your journal pieces, you're fine. But um, yeah, as long as you're going through the game, <laughs> you're fine. You know, you, you don't need stars on these levels to be able to finish the game and get the platinum. So, yeah, in case you're having the same bug that uh, I have in this game. Which is sad, because I, it really, really was, like, screwing with me here, in terms of, like, as, as we saw throughout, you know, the early episodes, when I was going through uh, all these levels and, and things we were, were keeping, like, even this level. Like, I, I had all the lanterns and stuff there, you know, all placed out, like, we went in there, you know, or even, like, um, how I'm using... Level 2 is a storage room, you know. If if that glitch was happening up here, oh, I would have been screwed entirely. But at least the good news is it didn't start till... Down here where, you know, I wasn't really trying to save anything anymore. And But, uh, yeah, I could have still made these final levels a little bit easier. Um, just a hair, because I would have been able to use, like, uh, bridges and uh, support beams. But, in, in, again, in my case, I wasn't able to thanks to the bug. Uh... Well, I mean, you saw, yes, I could, but as soon as I'd leave the level, then boom, it, it'd be gone. Actually, here, I can, well, no, I don't need to load in there to show, but, um, yeah, I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else I was supposed to show, uh, than anything else I promised, because anything I, I remember promising that I would show was just, you know, that side bit, bit of level 13. We already did that. We did that at the beginning of the episode, so that's good. So, if there's anything I'm forgetting, I'm sorry. Uh, if anything I'm missing, <laughs> I'm sorry. And, um, yeah, anyways, as for final thoughts of the game, um, again, disappointed with the bugs, okay, you know, just disappointed. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Uh, I really wish it could get fixed. Uh, at least, again, at least we were able to complete the game and, in this case, again, get the platinum. So that's great, it's good. And, again, two thumbs up on the fact there was no crashes, at least in my, my playthrough. So that was great. Because, as I said earlier, I hate crashes more than anything. Um, just, just, mm. anyways. Uh, in terms of overall game, I definitely recommend it. Um, and as for, like, if I was going to give it, like, a score. Uh, again, due, due, due to the bugs, due to, um... The fact that there's like not an inventory system to save these gems and stuff and whatnot since you know we had to use a whole level here as a storage room and it still lags like crazy uh, you know due to a few different things here and there uh, I probably have to give this game like a uh, an 8 out of 10 I would say again due to the the basically the bugs and the again no storage and um, something else. I know there was something else. But either way, again, uh, oh yeah, well, yeah, I'll explain that. Um, yeah, I, th I think 8 out of 10 would be fair for, for this game. Alright, well anyways, um, that is, of course, it for this game. Because <laughs> uh, again, like I said, chances are, you know, they're we're probably never going to get any more content, so I'm, I'm just going to straight up say that. Um, but yeah, that's it for episode 12. That's, as I said, probably it for this game entirely. But like I said, I'm not going to write final episode just in case, you know, we ever do get something. And uh, yeah, of course, uh, we'll be back uh, next time with a, another brand new game. So, so yeah, look forward to that. But anyways, until next time, keep on gaming.